On the front lines, right now, six Baltimore teens are in the Arctic, collecting data and researching the impacts of climate change. The teens are among a select few from the Park School selected for the project. And WJZ's Live Jonathan McCall talked to a former student who has made a trip to the Arctic about the group's mission. Jonathan? Denise, those six students are getting a two-week lesson that they say is not found inside of any classroom. Call it the experience of a lifetime. It's a lot of fun because I really like the idea of learning by doing. 1,500 miles, three stops, and two countries later. Because of the wetlands, the only way to get there in the summer is by chopper. Six students from the Park School in Baltimore are spending part of their summer in the Arctic, learning firsthand of the impacts of climate change. They learn more in two weeks on the tundra than they learn in a whole semester. The students are conducting their own scientific field research, like depth sampling of the layer of ice that's underneath the surface. Former student Booney Osias made two trips to the Arctic and says that summers can be pretty odd. Some days it was 90 degrees, which is not normal for Churchill, and other days it was like 50s and 60s. And that, in the span of a two-week period, is not a normal fluctuation in temperature. The kids from the Park School here in Baltimore will be in Canada for about two weeks as part of that project. Many apply, but only very few actually make it. Teacher Julie Rogers has been making the trips with her students for more than a decade. The group analyzes their findings during weekly meetings back here at home. Already, their work is drawing praise from scientists much older. It's understandable to be a little bit skeptical if you're not seeing it for yourself. And the group from Baltimore will be joined with several other kids from Canada as part of that two week long project. Reporting live tonight in Baltimore, I'm Jonathan McCall, WJZ Eyewitness News. Wonderful project. We need what they learn. Yeah. Thank you, Jonathan. The group will head back to the Arctic in October to study polar bear patterns. I'm not sure I'd get any work done if I was over there. I'd just be so fascinated yeah. by the, the terrain and the animals and so forth.